close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to stay with it all the way in, all the way out. Give the mind a home here. Because when insight comes, it's going to be pretty radical. And it's asking you to look at things that you take for granted. And it might be a little upsetting if you don't have a good solid place for the mind to stay. But if you have a sense of well-being, you come from a sense of solidity, and what the Buddha calls vihara dhamma, a home for the mind. Then you're in your home. And whatever else comes up, you can watch it, but you're safe inside. So make this house a home. In other words, learn how to be with the breath in a way that is really congenial. Feels good breathing in, feels good breathing out. See what ways you have of perceiving the breath that make it more comfortable. The ways you think of it spreading through the body. Where it starts, how one breath melds into the next breath. Try to avoid the tendency to chop up the in-breath to make it clearly different from the out-breath. Actually, the out-breath and the in-breath should be coming together. In other words, the in-breath comes from the out-breath, the out-breath comes from the in-breath. It's all one element. So don't chop up the house you have in here into little tiny rooms. Make it one of those big open-plan houses where all the rooms flow into one another. So you can see clearly what's going on throughout the house. And that way your vision is clear, but it's also solidly based. So when insights come, it's not that you believe them firmly that they must be insights. You really see, okay, this is better than the things I've gone for before, because you're in a position to make that judgment. And the insight then becomes your own. So make sure that this house is really comfortable. Furnish it inside. Adjust the temperature inside so it's just right. When the mind has had this sense of release and relief, that comes from not having to be outside exposed to the sun and the wind and the rain. Then whatever comes up, you can look at it fairly. You can look at it in a balanced way. So as the insights arise, they don't disturb the mind, they don't undercut it. They just come naturally. When you see that one thing is better than the other, and you go for what's better. That way you stay at home all the way throughout the practice.